welcome to another reading of The Power of Awareness. And today we're reading chapter 12, Subjective Control. Your imagination is able to do all that you ask in proportion to the degree of your attention. All progress, all fulfillment of desire, depend on the control and concentration of your attention. Attention may be either attracted from without or directed from within. Attention is attracted from without when you are consciously occupied with the external impressions of the immediate present. The very lines of this page, the very sound of my voice, are attracting your attention from without. Your attention is directed from within when you deliberately choose what you will be preoccupied with mentally. It is obvious that within the objective world, your attention is not only attracted by, but is constantly directed to external impressions. But your control in the subjective state is almost non-existent. For in this state, attention is usually the servant and not the master, the passenger and not the navigator of your world. There is an enormous difference between attention directed objectively and attention directed subjectively. And the capacity to change your future depends on the latter. When you are able to control the movements of your attention in the subjective world, you can modify or alter your life as you please. But this control cannot be achieved if you allow your attention to be attracted constantly from without. Each day, set yourself the task of deliberately withdrawing your attention from the objective world and of focusing it subjectively. In other words, concentrate on the thoughts or moods which you deliberately determine, right? You know, things that are lovely and of good rapport, right? Direct your focus, choose, renounce, right? Renunciation, renounce evil, right? Don't resist it, right? Remember that? You know what I'm saying? Renounce evil. Renunciation. Right? And direct your focus. Like chapter 6. Attention. Concentrate. Choose things that are lovely and of good rapport. Right? Basically. Alright? In other words, concentrate on those thoughts or moods which you deliberately determine. Then... Those things that now restrict you will fade and drop away. The day you achieve control of the movements of your attention in the subjective world, you are master of your fate. You will no longer accept the dominance of outside conditions or circumstances, right? Right? What's that quote right there from, from, uh, from chapter six, attention, right? When I'm over there at the ocean, right? You will no longer accept the dominance of outside conditions or circumstances. You will not accept a life on the basis of the world without. You will not accept, accept. Why must you accept life on the basis of the world without conditioning upon you how to live? Why? What's up with that? You will no longer, right? You will not accept a life on the basis of the world without having achieved control of the movements of your attention and having discovered the mystery hidden from the ages that Christ in you is your imagination. You will assert the supremacy of imagination 
and put all things in subjection to it. 